We are just about ready to start drawing. I uh, just wanted to share the link out to a couple of places real quick. If you are tuning in, feel free to share this link out yourself. We are now ready. Oh, I don't have the open volume down on that source. I'm going to just give it a few more seconds here to see if anybody else pops in. I know it may not be the most ideal day for a live stream, but uh, we're going to try this out and see if it works any different today than it did yesterday. I'm going to go ahead.
Was my microphone off this whole time? Or do you think? Well, you know what? That is why these things are tests, folks. Uh, this was a test not only of the drawing, but also of this live streaming. And apparently I had another technical issue here. It seems like it's going now. So I don't know if there is any. It didn't look like I had too many people in live. But here's what I'm going to do. So if you are watching live, you're going to get a little bonus episode. Um, if you're, if you're watching the replay, because I'm also recording this to my laptop as I, as I am streaming, I'm going to go ahead and do this over just so I have the sound as well, because I'm not sure my microphone was recording for the bulk of that. So here, we're going to go through the whole thing one more time. But first, I'm going to show you. These are some of the characters that I, I did comics with last year. This is... Um, the Lagoon Tunes web comic that I posted online for a good majority of 2019, uh, and this manatee character is who I'm drawing right now. You can also, if you head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Christopher Arnold Designs, you can download the line art from some of these comics for free right now. Uh, this is just so if you're stuck at home with the, the kids or with, with yourself or whatnot, and you're looking for things to do and you're looking for time to occupy, uh, you can download these. You can um, color them with the kids. You can use them to practice your own traditional coloring or your digital coloring. You can even practice your own uh, comic writing if you're interested in that kind of a thing. So if you can see there's no dialogue, no color, that kind of a stuff, that kind of a thing. So you can practice all of that, and there's a handful of these available right now over at patreon.com slash Christopher Arnold Designs. Okay, I am going to do this again. Um, if you were watching live, my apologies. It looks like my microphone might not have been picking up for a good portion of that. So when I'm drawing this cartoon manatee, basically I will start with a not a full-fledged circle but maybe like almost like a slightly squashed circle right i will put basically another one of those slightly squashed circles but smaller right to the connecting to the face but slightly out that's going to be the snout then i'm going to take i'm going to make another shape not really a full-fledged circle but think of it almost like a water balloon that you've connected to the garden hose. So this is how it starts to fill up, right? Or maybe think of it like a um, light bulb or even a potato sometimes kind of takes on these shapes. It's just this sort of form like this. And then another slightly squashed circle connects to the body. That's going to be his little flipper. Actually, he's a little tail flipper. Now we got to give him his hands, or his flippers here. I think of them as oven mitts. That's sort of what I had in mind when I started designing this character, because I wanted him to have a little bit of a thumb, for lack of a better word, just so he could have that personality. So that's what those. That's what I think of when I draw those. So these are your basic shapes for the entire body, right? So now, there's a lot of extra lines in here, though. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to darken up the main outline of the character, like so. And then darken up his other little hand here. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase some of these inner lines just to clean this up and show you how he's starting to take shape. Now you don't need to 
totally get rid of everything just yet. Just just enough that so you can see how he is starting to develop. Right? I'll come back in here. I will just let his snout kind of come back over like so. Then I will put in his little eyes here. His little eyebrows. Little nostrils. And then his mouth. And chin. And that is essentially the basic premise behind drawing this manatee character. Now I, I can go in here too and I can do I'll do might do some other things just because he is a cartoon. I'll add some little shading lines or um, just little extra features depending on how I'm feeling. Um, and that's essentially it. Now if we just want to take a look at that head shape again. We have, again, slightly squashed circle, another slightly squashed circle. We'll add just a couple of lines here just to give the impression of the torso. Then we'll define the outer lines a little bit more. We'll get rid of the inner lines. Eyes, nostrils, mouth. Here you can see he's talking about something there. And there you go. You can always throw a little extra expression, throw in, throw in his nose, little oven mitt, hand flippers. And then some little shading lines, that kind of a thing. Now I'm going to take a brush pen or an artist pen with a brush like nib. And basically, what we can do now is I will go over this shape. I like the brush, especially for these outer lines just because you can give them a little more emphasis you can control your line width pretty easily on the fly and let's go up here to that view and then little oven mitt flippers Now I don't usually I won't use the brush for everything, but you know when you're trying to give those outer lines a little more emphasis, uh, they come in handy for that. But I have some different size nibs that I'll also bring in here, and then I can just you know add in the eyes, add in some nostrils. Well, give him his. Basically, at this point, I'm just going over my pencils. I'll also take an even smaller nib just to. Ah! My nib started acting up there. That's the sound of an artist when a nib acts up on them. Ah! Oh, thank you. Uh, Agata? I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but Agata says that's adorable. Uh, if I'm not pronouncing your name right, I apologize. But thank you. Thanks for the comment. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if anyone else is tuned in, feel free to uh, leave some comments or questions in the chat. Um, I'll try to peek over at that every once in a while. Uh, so now, once I have this character inked, what I typically will do is now, I mean, you want to give it a little bit of time for your inks to dry, for sure. I'm probably going to go in a little sooner than I normally would on this, but usually they, it, you're, you're okay. Uh, I'm just going to softly try to get rid of some of these pencils. 
Now, I will usually not worry too much about pencils. I will try to get them out as best I can. But I'm, my workflow is typically I will scan this next and then I will clean it up digitally. And then I will add color and um, effects and things like that in Photoshop. So if I don't get all of the pencils here, it's fine. It's totally fine. You know, you got to be careful because if you use too much pressure when you're doing the erasing, you could damage your inks. Um, now, in this case, that being said, I am going to show you with some of my markers how you can just give them a little, a little extra something something on the artboard if you want to. So I have uh, a sketch marker, an alcohol sketch marker here. And I can just give them a few swipes here just to just to give them a little extra texture. A little extra something something, yeah. Um, you do need to be careful though because depending on the types of inks you've used and depending on the types of markers you have, sometimes you'll notice some of the ink smearing. Um, I see a little bit of that here in the finer lines. Um, if you know that's a thing though, you can you can work around it. Um, so that's essentially how I draw and design uh, my little cartoon manatee guy here. Again, if you are interested, you can download some of the line art uh, for these characters. Um, if you if you would like to practice your own coloring, whether it's with um, markers, uh, colored pencils, if it's digital coloring in Photoshop or Clip Studio or any of those types of programs, you can download uh, the digital file from Patreon and then you can color it yourself, add your own dialogue, play around, have fun. Uh, that is again over at patreon.com slash Christopher Arnold Designs. Here's a sample of the line art. That is what you get. Um, that is free right now. That used to be a perk for backers. Um, but in light of everything that's going on right now, I figured I'd switch a lot of those free in case anybody wants to give them a whirl. Here is another sample of one of the comics. And that's the line art of that. So you can see how different the, it's, you know, once you take the colors away and the dialogue away, you can have something there to really have fun with. I'm going to hop back over to the chat for one moment. So if you have any questions, if you have any more comments, feel free to leave those here. Otherwise, we will start to wind down on this edition of the Socially Distant Drawing Board. That is not a working title. Um, but yeah, we'll do some more of these. Again, in addition to me just wanting to get on here and draw, this is also a chance to test out some live streaming. Yesterday I did uh, an, I did a live session while I inked uh, Savage Dragon. That video is, you can watch that the replay of that video right here on YouTube. Uh, the replay of this one, I will probably trim the replay down quite a bit since the first part of this my microphone was acting up. So I will trim it down to just the, the workable video uh, for, the, for this replay. But uh, if you have any questions, if you have anything you'd like to see in the future, leave those down in the comments. And um, otherwise, just uh, stay creative out there, everybody. All right, we're going to start winding down. Thanks again.